Yeah. Uh, today we're going to do the wood chopper, uh, which is a fly that we use as a point fly in a team of nymphs or when you're lock style fishing. Uh, to, so to start off with, I normally tie this on a size 12 hook uh, and a heavy wire hook because, um, well, it's a wet fly and we might as well use something that's not going to bend. Um, and we can then combine that with a 3 mil gold bead. Now you can use various style, style beads here, but this is a, a 3 mil gold tungsten uh, using black thread. And again, very simple fly to tie this one, but very effective. I've got no idea what the fish take it for. Um, it looks a bit like a nymph. It can look a little bit like, I suppose, a stick caddis because you can tie these in different colours as well. Uh, in this case, I'm using the Glowbrite Floss in the, um, the magenta colour. I think it's number five. But play about with different colours for your tags. And I'm sure it's this very bright tag that actually causes this fly to work because it's got a, a very much a look at me factor as far as the fish are concerned. Then we use a, a very fine cock hackle. Um, so there's a rear hackle that goes into this. And we only put in about three turns. One, two, three. Just catch that. So that's a rear hackle. Again, very simple fly, but a lot of the best flies are very simple flies. Just wind that in there. And then we're going to put in a fine gold wire. We're going to use that for the rib to help protect the um, help protect, protect the peacock curl body that we're going to put in the tick. So just stroke back those hackles there a bit. And then we're going to tie in two pieces of peacock curl. go we'll just pair those up tie those in again full length of the body still trying to keep a nice uniform shape in the body here so come up here and then I'll pull down a bit of thread there and then twist my peacock hurl around the um, around the tying thread that just helps to create a cord of peacock hurl and helps to protect the peacock hurl so it's less likely to break there's a nice bit of cord there. Then we're going to wind our peacock hurl cord down to the front to where the um, our bead is. And then we're going to go back, plumping up this body back to the rear again. Okay, now at this stage, I then untwist the peacock hurl. keeping everything tight. You don't want to let go of anything at this stage and then come through with the thread winding through the peacock hill in the opposite direction. So that's caught that. You can just break that off now and then the opposite direction will now rib in with our gold wire. Two, three, four. Catch that. We can then break that off. But we've nicely protected that peacock hurl body now. Now we're going to actually cut the tag. And that's probably about 3 mil, I suppose, the overall length of that tag. And then we're going to put in another hackle at the front. So just catch that in there. There we go, caught that in there. And then I'll try again, miss that. And go one, two, three. Wind through it. We can snap that off, and then we just whip finish in behind the bead. I normally chuck in a couple of whip finishes to make sure it's nice and secure. And there you have it, the wood chipper. Very simple little nymph. 
uh, but certainly very effective. Um, you can say you can fish it actively, so put it on a lock style cast. Uh, you can fish it in a team of nymphs, or it also fished, fishes well nymph under dry, so fishing the bung uh, with that or maybe another unweighted nymph underneath.